today we are doing a psalm, we're working through a psalm for the sermon today. And it's kind of about how God, God's people, and specifically the person who wrote the psalm, is feeling like all the enemies of God are crowding around him and trying to get, him, get at him, attack him, and they're attacking God because they don't like God. And he says, it's okay, God's got you. And this is why it's okay, because he goes through all these stories about how God saved his people. So sometimes maybe it feels like you have enemies of God that surround you and try to attack you, or maybe it's Satan trying to tempt you into sins, or maybe like other people in the world, you don't get a job because you believe in God, or you can be killed because you believe in God. These are all bad things that happen to God's people, but God in his word says, it's okay, I've got you in my hand. And he's got heaps of good stories in here, heaps of lovely stories and stories about war, but in all of them, God delivers or God rescues his people, and then we can come back and have a look. We're going to have a look at a couple of stories quickly. We're going to start with one that you should know pretty well when we were doing Genesis, what was, what was Joseph in jail for? Does anyone remember? Uh, do you know? Yeah? No, jo- Joseph. So remember Joseph with the pretty, pretty coat, did believe in God. Yeah, he, he wasn't in jail for anything, was he? And then he was stuck in there, and then the way he got out was the, the cupbearer and the cupbearer for Pharaoh in Egypt tried to, tried to get out, but then he forgot out about him, and God delivers him out of jail. Do you remember that story from a ways back? So God delivers Joseph out of jail. Um, let's go to Exodus, where Moses is leading his people out of Egypt, and the Egypt, Egyptians are running after them, and they get to a sea, and they look like they're pretty trapped. And then what happens when they get to the Red Sea? You want to know? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. The sea parts way, and the Israelites can go through, and the Egyptians don't. They get flooded. And God rescues his Israelite people from the Egyptians. So that's a pretty awesome story. Let's go to, where are we now, Judges. And this story is in the psalm. We hear about Gideon. Gideon is a follower of God, and he is worried about this big nation called the Midianites who are trying to attack them. And God says, it's okay. In fact, I will help you win this battle with 300 people, 300 men against thousands of enemies, and he does it. God rescues his people, saves, and wins the battle with only 300 men against thousands of enemies. Right, now let's go to Dan... Nope, that's Psalm. Daniel. Who remembers Daniel? Daniel and the lions and the fire, the furnace. He was told, I'm... uh, when we're in a different country, Babylon, the king says, worship me, don't worship God, worship me. And Daniel says, well, no, I'm going to worship God. And so the king says, okay, well, I'm going to throw you in a pit of lions. And what does God do? He closes the mouths of the lions so they don't eat him. So God delivers Daniel from the lions. And let me tell you the best story. Best story we find in all four books of the Gospels. When Jesus is on the cross and then he dies and all the people that thought, oh, Jesus might be something good here, they, they kind of lose hope because Jesus is dead and um, all, all hope is lost. But then what happens on the third day? Yeah, Jesus rose again. And God delivers Jesus and everyone who is connected with Jesus out from death and sin and all the bad things that we have to experience in this world is crushed because 
Jesus died on the cross for us. So I've got some homework for you this week. Have a read of this thing and find a story that makes you go, wow, God is amazing, he loves his people, and he will protect us from the bad things of this world. You can't even find, I can guarantee you will find a story in this Bible about that. So there you go. Come and see me next week if you've got a story. Right. I'm going to pray, and then we'll get our kids' sheets. Dear God, we thank you that you love us and that you will protect us even though this world is messed up. Um, thank you that you sent your son to die so that we can be saved um, from sin and from your enemies. Amen.